Today, our fellow citizens, our way of life, our very freedom came under attack in a series of deliberate and deadly terrorist acts. Today, our nation saw evil, the very worst of human nature, and we responded with the best of America. A great people has been moved to defend a great nation. While the president's words echoed across the airwaves, American Special Forces soldiers of what would become Task Force Dagger deployed to Afghanistan in the weeks after 9-11. These operators linked up with anti-Taliban militia of the Northern Alliance to destroy Al-Qaeda and defeat the Taliban. The members of Task Force Dagger were thrust into a scenario for which they had trained but had never experienced. Some of these soldiers went to war on horses despite not knowing how to ride, while others flew helicopters at elevations so high that the crew and passengers required oxygen. Their incredible adaptability allowed them to carry the war on terror to Al-Qaeda and the Taliban. Utilizing state-of-the-art communications and targeting equipment, members of Task Force Dagger called in airstrikes against Taliban targets while coordinating horse-mounted charges and ground attacks, creating one of the most iconic chapters in the War on Terror. What began in the mountains of Afghanistan culminated less than a month later with the liberation of the capital city of Kabul when the Taliban fled before the American-supported Northern Alliance. In Liberty Park, New York City, America's response monument stands to represent these brave soldiers who were the tip of the spear in this new war. Commemorating the Special Operations Forces, the statue is subtitled De Oppresso Liber, the motto of the United States Army Special Forces, which means to free the oppressed. On December 11th, in America's game, just over 20 years after 9-11 and 11 miles from ground zero, we honor this brave group of soldiers, America's best, who defended our great nation. Thank you.